we have badly let Ukraine down. We have not given them the weapons that they need fast enough. And this is why the counteroffensive last year stalled. We, they are now running out of ammunition, which is why we've saw recently they have lost, they have had to retreat from the, um, from the strategically important city of Avdivka. And, you know, they're having a very tough time. They've had to switch along the front line from offense to defense. And, you know, we need to wake up. We should have put our industries on a war footing two years ago. There are signs we are starting to do this now. But, you know, this is not just Ukraine's war. It's, it's a war being waged against all of us in the West and NATO. It's the Ukrainians who are doing the fighting, bleeding and dying on our behalf. So, you know, and I know from talking to my friends in Ukraine every day, they are tired. They are worn out. And then I hear of Ukraine fatigue in the West. We have no right to be tired because the Ukrainians, although they're tired, cannot give up because, and I'll finish, I'll just as a very good friend, a senior diplomat said to me at the start of this horrible invasion, if Russia stops fighting, there will be no war. If Ukraine stops fighting, there will be no Ukraine.